Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It Blind. So today we've got this uh, Spartan, it's an RT Pro. See, it's an RT Pro. It's an RT Pro 747TC54, okay? This goes for any of the RT Pro series, or any of the RT series. And this guy had a code on the display. Sorry about the wind, but he had a code on the display here that was code 23 and 13. And I wanna show you how you fix that, um, at least on this one. See, we got to flip the seat up here. All right, so code 13 says uh, check the PTO, right? And also check the battery connections. Code 23, I believe, is just straight up check the battery connections. Now, he had the issue anytime he would turn the PTO on up there. He turned the PTO on and after about five minutes, he would die and it would throw the codes. What, uh, what we found out is I took the clutch off, I ohmed the clutch out, and generally these clutches should ohm out between 2 ohms and 4 ohms. This one ohmed out at 2.4. I couldn't get a hold of Spartan to get the actual specs, but in comparison to other electric magnetic clutches, it was good. So I put it back on and then went and decided instead of going after the 13 code, I went after the 23 code. So what I found is that the customer had wing nuts holding the battery on, you know, the battery connections on. Okay, and the issue with that is, is you can only get them so tight with your hand, right? You can only get them so tight. And if you touch the cables, they would wiggle and they'd come loose. So basically what was happening was, is as soon as, you know, he'd hit a bump or whatever, it would wiggle them cables loose and then he'd have the issues and it would throw the codes. So check your cables, clean the ends, right? I had to sand them down because they had some corrosion because they've been loose. And the reason he had wing nuts in there is because he stores this in a storage unit over the winter time so he doesn't want to keep the battery in it he brings the battery home puts it on a tender like he's supposed to so he had the wing nuts on there as a easy way to take it off and on you know take it on and off without any tools while he was putting it in storage so now he's gonna he's gonna bring a socket with him and go ahead and change him that way all right guys thanks for watching